High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI financial services, and agro crop insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Rind today. Next Tech Wireless. They are the avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. They are committed to serving the communities they're in. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also support local school athletes in all they do. Paul Wartenberger Construction, designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP Marion, McDonald's of Hayes, Russell, and Waukini. A great place to go for you or the team on your way home from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. Hey Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation. They are the local supporter of community events. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 33 years, so you know they have to be doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. Phase 2, always supporting local athletics. If you need quick printing of logos or designs on shirts, Phase 2 can handle any of your requests. They have you covered at Phase 2. Leon's Welding. Welding, fabrication, sandblasting, powder coating, even a fleet of mobile welding trucks. Supporting local school activities for over 30 years. Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Eagle Broadband. Eagle Broadband is your trusted internet, TV, and phone provider. They offer many scalable, forward-thinking solutions such as commercial services, managed IT, and marketing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Eagle Broadband. With Hosted Voice from Eagle Broadband, you're in control of the futures for your business phone line. We provide the ring you love to hear. Eagle Broadband, our community connected. Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts and I have no idea what I got on them. It's just peanut butter. We can get that out. Master Cleaners and Hayes offers a variety of services, including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. There are a lot of qualities that make up a Forged and Fire champion, but more than anything, it probably takes... We're back. Yes! Woo! To the Forge. Come on the show, they said. Forge. Press. Fifth. Finish. Forged in Fire is back with all new episodes Wednesdays at 9 on History. This is Gerard Walbrock inviting you to join me for Tiger Talk. The program airs Monday evenings at 6 on Tiger Radio Mix 103. And you can also catch it on Eagle Cable Channel 14 and 614. 
Tuesday mornings at 10 and Tuesday evenings at 7. And of course, always online at HayesPoach.com. We record the program at Horizon Appliance and Mattress at 1501 East 27th and Hayes. So join us for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Sports Network. I hope that you've signed on for some action because you're going to get it. Conservation is a global support to the heroes on the front line. You can love the outdoors and live a healthy lifestyle. And that's the message I try to get out there all the time. Diane ain't much of a living boy. Outdoor Channel. We're wild about adventure. Have you considered the value that quality video content can bring to your business? MidAmerica Productions can provide professional visual media to effectively engage your target audience. We're a full service video production company serving Salina and surrounding regions for over 35 years. Whether you need videos for promotion, sales, training, fundraising, or other purposes, our experienced team can deliver for you. Find us online at mapvideo.net. That's mapvideo.net. High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI financial services, and AgPro crop insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Rind today. Next Tech Wireless. They are the avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. They are committed to serving the communities they're in. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also support local school athletes in all they do. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurtenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP Marion, McDonald's of Hayes, Russell, and Waukini. A great place to go for you or the team on your way home from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. Hey Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation. They are the local supporter of community events. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 33 years, so you know they have to be doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. Phase 2, always supporting local athletics. If you need quick printing of logos or designs on shirts, Phase 2 can handle any of your requests. They have you covered at Phase 2. Leon's Welding, welding, fabrication, sandblasting, powder coating, even a fleet of mobile welding trucks. Supporting local school activities for over 30 years. Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Eagle Broadband. Eagle Broadband is your trusted internet, TV, and phone provider. They offer many scalable, forward-thinking solutions such as commercial services, managed IT, and marketing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Eagle Broadband. With hosted voice from Eagle Broadband, you're in control of the futures for your business phone line. We provide the ring you love to hear. Eagle Broadband, our community connected.
Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts, and I have no idea what I got on them. Mm. It's just peanut butter. We can get that out. Master Cleaners and Hayes offers a variety of services, including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. There are a lot of qualities that make up a Forged and Fire champion, but more than anything, it probably takes... We're back. Yes! Woo! To the Forge. Come on the show, they said. Forge. Press. Fifth. Finish. Forged in Fire is back with all new episodes Wednesdays at 9 on History. This is Gerard Walbrock inviting you to join me for Tiger Talk. The program airs Monday evenings at 6 on Tiger Radio Mix 103. But you can also catch it on Eagle Cable Channel 14 and 614. Tuesday mornings at 10 and Tuesday evenings at 7. And of course, always online at HayesPokes.com. We record the program at Horizon Appliance and Mattress at 1501 East 27th and Hayes. So join us for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Sports Network. I hope that you've signed on for some action because you're going to get it. Conservation is a global support to the heroes on the front line. You can love the outdoors and live a healthy lifestyle. And that's the message I try to get out there all the time. Diane ain't much of a living boy. Outdoor Channel. We're wild about adventure. Have you considered the value that quality video content can bring to your business? MidAmerica Productions can provide professional visual media to effectively engage your target audience. We're a full service video production company serving Salina and surrounding regions for over 35 years. Whether you need videos for promotion, sales, training, fundraising, or other purposes, our experienced team can deliver for you. Find us online at mapvideo.net. That's mapvideo.net. High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI financial services, and agro crop insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Rind today. Next Tech Wireless. They are the avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. They are committed to serving the communities they're in. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also support local school athletes in all they do. Paul Wartenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP Marion, McDonald's of Hayes, Russell, and Waukini. A great place to go for you or the team on your way home from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. Hey Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation. They are the local supporter of community events. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 33 years, so you know they have to be doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. Phase 2, always supporting local athletics. If you need quick printing of logos or designs on shirts, Phase 2 can handle any of your requests. They have you covered at Phase 2. Leon's Welding, welding, fabrication, sandblasting, powder coating, even a fleet of mobile welding trucks. 
supporting local school activities for over 30 years. Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Eagle Broadband. Eagle Broadband is your trusted internet, TV, and phone provider. They offer many scalable, forward-thinking solutions such as commercial services, managed IT, and marketing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Eagle Broadband. With hosted voice from Eagle Broadband, you're in control of the futures for your business phone line. We provide the ring you love to hear. Eagle Broadband, our community connected. Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts and I have no idea what I got on them. It's just peanut butter. We can get that out. Master Cleaners and Hayes offers a variety of services, including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. There are a lot of qualities that make up a Forged and Fire champion, but more than anything, it probably takes... We're back. Yes! Woo! To the Forge. Come on the show, they said. Forge. Press. Fit. Finish. Forged in Fire is back with all new episodes Wednesdays at 9 on History. This is Gerard Walbrock inviting you to join me for Tiger Talk. The program airs Monday evenings at 6 on Tiger Radio Mix 103. But you can also catch it on Eagle Cable Channel 14 and 614. Tuesday mornings at 10 and Tuesday evenings at 7. And of course, always online at HayesPokes.com. We record the program at Horizon Appliance and Mattress at 1501 East 27th and Hayes. So join us for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Sports Network. I hope that you've signed on for some action because you're going to get it. Conservation is a global support to the heroes on the front line. You can love the outdoors and live a healthy lifestyle. And that's the message I try to get out there all the time. Diane ain't much of a living boy. Outdoor Channel. We're wild about adventure. Have you considered the value that quality video content can bring to your business? MidAmerica Productions can provide professional visual media to effectively engage your target audience. We're a full service video production company serving Salina and surrounding regions for over 35 years. Whether you need videos for promotion, sales, training, fundraising, or other purposes, our experienced team can deliver for you. Find us online at mapvideo.net. That's mapvideo.net. High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI financial services, and agpro crop insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Rind today. Next Tech Wireless. They are the avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. They are committed to serving the communities they're in. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also support local school athletes in all they do. Paul Wartenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. 
TMP Marion alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP Marion, McDonald's of Hayes, Russell, and Waukini. A great place to go for you or the team on your way home from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. Hey Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation. They are the local supporter of community events. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 33 years, so you know they have to be doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. Phase 2, always supporting local athletics. If you need quick printing of logos or designs on shirts, Phase 2 can handle any of your requests. They have you covered at Phase 2. Leon's Welding. Welding, fabrication, sandblasting, powder coating, even a fleet of mobile welding trucks. Supporting local school activities for over 30 years. Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Eagle Broadband. Eagle Broadband is your trusted internet, TV, and phone provider. They offer many scalable, forward-thinking solutions such as commercial services, managed IT, and marketing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Eagle Broadband. With hosted voice from Eagle Broadband, you're in control of the futures for your business phone line. We provide the ring you love to hear. Eagle Broadband, our community connected. Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts and I have no idea what I got on them.
Features the uh, TMP Marion Monarchs and the Fire from Life Prep Academy as we welcome you back in here to Hayes High School where the Monarchs and the Fire getting set to a tip off here from Hayes High School. Jonathan Swagger, Dave Barber back with you along with our studio producer and engineer Vivian Liker at the KHAZ Studios. Monarchs in those blue uniforms, the dark blue new uh, uniforms with the white numbers trimmed in gray all ready to go. Meanwhile, Life Prep just now making their way back to the floor. So uh, had to wait on Life Prep as they had, uh, went to the locker room and uh, took an extra couple of minutes to get back to the floor. So we're a little still kind of waiting on them, but we're about ready to get our starting lineups underway real quickly. And the Life Prep will be in those uh, white uniforms. They have the red number trimmed in black. That's our uniform update. It's brought to you by Phase 2 from Business Polos. The team gear, the first choice should be Phase 2 screen printing and embroidery. No minute mortar plus a quick turnaround time. Phase 2 screen printing and embroidery just out fine on 22nd Street next to Big D's Rental. And the Monarchs will start Lucas Lang, the 5'10 junior. Brady Kreitzer, the 5'9 senior, along with Mason Robbins, the 6'3 senior. Jackson Schulte, the uh, Six foot junior and Carson Jacobs, a six seven senior. For Life Prep Academy, they'll start Dwight Russell. He's the five eight senior. Abaji McGee, he's the uh, five nine senior. Michael Johnson is a six one sophomore. Matthew Sims, a five eleven sophomore. And then uh, Camden McDonald is a six foot senior. So that's been a look at our starting lineups here in this one. Coach Bill Mayer and his second. Second year as head coach of the Monarchs, now 14 and 14 as head man for the Monarchs. In a while, the fire from Life Prep Academy, coached by Eric Jackson. Monarchs will be down to our left here in this first half, shooting down to our right. So they'll shoot down in front of us here as we sit up top behind the scores table here in this one. And the fire will shoot down to our left here in this first half. So just about ready to get this one underway as we welcome you in on this uh, Friday afternoon consolation semifinal matchup. The MP Lady Monarchs have already qualified, punched their ticket to that fourth place game, which will be tomorrow at Hayes Middle School. Monarchs trying to do so as well on the boys' side. Already have one girls team into the final championship game as St. Thomas Aquinas beat Manhattan today 51 to 26. That's where about ready to get this one underway. Here on a Friday afternoon matchup. With Carson Jacobs and Michael Johnson to jump in center. Mark shooting down to our right here in this first half. And the tip will be won by Life Prep as they're able to tip it into the front court. McDonald gets it off to McPhee. And now they'll set it up with a senior point guard, Russell. Russell will drive in and slam it into Carson Jacobs who draws the offensive foul. So that's a good start as Jacobs forces a turnover and it's a big foul on Russell. And that's what I was talking about. They gotta be able to come off and help like that. Jacobs did a great job of getting there early, holding his position and taking that one right in the chest. Life prep with some pressure into the backcourt, but the Monarchs are able to get it into Lucas Lang, and he will slow walk it across the timeline as he works against Smith. The Mason Robbins dumps it underneath for Jacobs, who scores to the right low block. Carson got great position and scores to make it 2 nothing in favor of the Monarchs. Yeah, and again, taking advantage of that height. Looks like they are making another effort to go right to him. And really nobody with any sort of size for life prep. Johnson has a right side. Drives into the lane, got tied up, lost it. Mason Robbins tried to dig in there and come away with it. Instead, it's Kreitzer who will steal it. And then Brady just barely saves it to Jackson Schulte, who's open left side, and they say he traveled with it. Tried to step into that three, and the Monarchs with a dangerous kind of spinning one arm pass by Kreitzer at midcourt almost turned it over, and then Schulte called for the travel, and so they do. 
Two turnovers for Life Prep on the first two possessions as Matthew Sims will work it into the front court, guarded by Mason Robinson. He threw it away. Try to find Dwight Russell, but he cut away from the basketball. And that's the third turnover for the fire here in the early going. 2-0 with under seven minutes to go first quarter. Monarchs have the lead thanks to a good post uh, move and score by Carson Jacobs to go to the high post for Robbins. Carson battling inside with Johnson. As Johnson and Carson really battling as Jacobs missed a wide open Schulte for a minute. Here's a pass left side for Lang. He's cut off on the baseline by Russell. So works on that left side and now Kreitzer will call out the play. Better six and a half to go first quarter. Right side, Schulte's open. Won't shoot it, instead drives in with some contact. Can't finish and then the rebound and Carson Jacobs is gonna be called for a foul as Johnson fell down and they say the contact caused the foul. And Carson will pick up his first, or rather caused Johnson to hit the deck as Carson will pick up his first foul. Yeah, pretty quick foul for Carson. Maybe a bit of a challenging call, but uh, that's one they can't need to keep out of foul trouble. Johnson's a 6-1 sophomore. He is guarding Jacobs on one end, but then he's a guard on the other end as Russell got away with a little bit of a Arm bar push out that time for a moment, and now Sims will drive and have his pass knocked out of bounds on that right side. Monarch's very aggressive and active on the defensive end. Have been jumping passing lanes. Tallest player on the floor in the starting lineup is Michael Johnson, the sophomore. He guards Carson Jacobs. Here's a pass right side for McDonald. Life Prep has it with under 5.45 to play in this first quarter. Russell on a step back, takes a long three. This is everything, and the offensive rebound down to McPhee. McPhee finds a uh, cutting as Sims, and we're going to get a foul, I think, before the shots. And they say Mason Robbins pushed on the defensive end. That'll be the first on Robbins. It's the second team foul with 5.35 as the pass knocked out of bounds by Schulte, and it stays with life prep in their white uniforms and those red numbers. Well, it looked like they had Johnson on the inbound. Good recovery by Schulte to knock it away. Johnson will key it in and throws it to the corner right side. McPhee got open and then gets fouled by Lang on the baseline. He's in the middle of shooting as Lucas got tangled up with him. And that'll be the first on Lang. So two free throws coming up for Amashi McGee or McPhee rather. And yeah, the first free throw is good. Two to one. Monarchs have the lead on the first free throw. And yeah, the second free throw good as well. Tied now at two with five and a half to play here in this first quarter. Left side three, Ronald's home on the left baseline for Jackson Schulte. And it's five to two in favor of the Monarchs with 5.20 and counting in this first quarter. Now pass deflected by Kreitzer, but tracked down by Russell. They get it to the left side and driving in on that baseline, hanging and hitting is Johnson. Michael Johnson cuts the deficit to one at five to four and then a turnover as the Monarchs turn it over in the backcourt and Camden McDonald got the layup to go and it's six to five after the Monarch turnover, their second of the early going and now Kreitzer is being harassed on the near sideline and he turns it over. Back to back Monarch turnovers. And Life Prep will get it back, leading six to five. Monarchs will bring Garrett Pike for the six foot junior in for the first time. As he replaces Carson Jacobs. 440 to play first quarter. Russell, the senior, guarded by Kreitzer in between the circles. Calling out the play, takes it right side. Now with a bounce pass inside, had it deflected, but tracked down by Johnson. He works on a Schulte, hangs it right on it home. Tough shot for Michael Johnson, who's got four, but it's eight to five. Life prep with the lead as they press Kreitzer into the backcourt. Brady needing some help, and his pass is knocked out of bounds. Everybody kind of left Kreitzer by himself there in the backcourt. He needed help against that pressure. Lang, Kreitzer, 
Schulte, Robinson, Pye for the five on the floor. As Lang takes a peek at the sideline and gets the play with 4.05 to play first quarter. 8-5, Life Prep with the lead. Pfeiffer now to the baseline for Lang, looking inside for Robbins. Instead, they find Kreitzer. Brady, a couple of dribbles, now left wing for Lang. Gives it up to Schulte. Now Lucas is open, and his three's blocked out of bounds. Good recovery by Amaji McGee. He blocks it out of bounds. And now Hayden Brown will check into the ball game. I thought yesterday Hayden was a huge spark off the bench. He, he did. He came in and provided some really good minutes for the Monarchs. Jacobs will return to the Monarch lineup as checking out is Mason Robbins. And Jacobs is open and then got fouled underneath. Trying to step in there late was Dwight Russell. And that'll be the second on Russell. Russell is 5'8", but he is absolutely put together. He is a big, strong 5'8 player. Now Jacobs on the inbound, powers up the shot and scores. Carson Jacobs has four. Monarchs are back within one at 8-7. to seven. Jacobs has four here in the early going. I like how strong he's going to the rim with that ball. Keeping it high, hard to defend. There's a drive by Sims. He'll hang and can't hit it. Left it short. Rebound pulled out of there by Brown. Finds Jacobs up the floor. Carson's layup is good. Monarchs take the lead on the Carson Jacobs run out and layup. Nine to eight. A 320 to go here in the first quarter. Other end, we're gonna get an offensive foul. Brady Kreitzer stepped in and drew the foul. On Sims, it's the first on Sims. And it is the third team foul. They also have five first half, first quarter turnovers due to the fire. Schulte into the front court, spins, got fouled. And there's a late call reaching in by McDonald, the senior, and he got a hold of Schulte. Schulte had made a nice move to get into the lane like that. Had Carson out on the baseline with a nice little dish, but got the foul call. Gavin Unrein checks in for the first time this season. Unrein, the 5'11 sophomore. He'll get the lob at the top of the key as he surveys the defense. Also back into the ball game is Rashad Martin. He's a 5'9 senior trying to guard Carson Jacobs. And he's the wide body you need, but Carson's not quite a foot taller than him. As Carson's on a good day, over 6-7 and 5-9, and he reaches in and ties up Jacobs. He knocked the ball away. Out of contact, but no call, and here comes Life Prep into the front court. Left side three for Johnson is good. Michael Johnson got the three to go. Johnson has seven here in this opening quarter, and it's 11-9. Fire back on top. Jacobs. Draws the double team and just splits it, but can't get the layup to go. And the rebound is going to be tracked down by Rashad Martin for life prep. As I'll race into the front court, and we're going to get a reach in foul on the Monarchs. Like, it had a travel on Matthew Sims. Said we're going to get a blocking foul called on Garrett Pfeiffer. Sims will go to the free throw line. Leading by two, 11 to nine. Life prep. There's a couple of free throws for Sims, and he knocks down the first one. Mason Robbins replaces Pfeiffer and Kreitzer for Jackson Schulte. Sims with his first point makes it 12 to nine. Second free throw rattles on as well. And it's 13 to nine. Sims with his first two points. And Dwight Russell returns to the lineup. He's playing with those two fouls. As extended pressure, Monarchs get it into Kreitzer. Now to Mason Robbins. He'll put it on the floor right side for Jacobs. Out about the three and said we'll give it up. Cuts to the basket, wide open to the top of the key. And a travel called on Gavin Unright. The sophomore on a ride, all for the travel at the top of the key. And the fire will get it back. 13 and 9 in favor of Life Prep. A 2-10 to go here in this first quarter. Monarchs 
have four first quarter turnovers. So here's a turnover. And then Jacobs gave it right back. It's a good job by Johnson to knock it away from him. The layup missed inside by McDonald. He'll get it back, though, after the deflection and score. Donald has four, and then the Monarchs turn it over again. And then a rim ball as we've got a injured life prep player down on the near sideline. That three by McDonald got stuck in between the side of the backboard and the rim. As they take a look at the injured life prep player, Michael Johnson, not able to put for a moment any weight on that left leg, but now he looks like he might be all right. It's a 15-9 lead. They're on a 7-0 run ever since Monarchs took a 9-8 lead. Johnson's a big part of what they do. You say big athletic, long athletic guard, a slasher and had Seven points here in the first quarter as he comes out. A minute 45 to go in the first. He's really been their offensive power. All right, so we'll race into the front court, picks up his dribble, skips it left side for Unrine. A survey of the defense, now gives it back to Kreitzer straight on, and Brady will call out the play, being guarded by McPhee. Right, so left side for Unrine, bobbled it, one dribble, now gets it to Mason Robbins, top of the key. Mason wanted to go inside, but Jacobson reposted on the right side. Looking to get it into Carson, they do, as he draws the double team and just tried to go right through it, missed it, but tipped it right back in. Jacobs has eight. 15 to 11, and Jacobs has scored the last six. Here's the dribble drive and an offensive foul. Sims got up into the air, and Carson just stepped in there, and now we've got a, another banged up life prep academy player as Matthew Sims took a hard spill. He might have hurt it. He hit his hip on the floor when he went down. As the coach will help him back to his feet. And he'll make his way to the side lot. Monarchs were trying to bring in substitutions when all that happened. Alan Jew, a 6'5 senior, will check in for the first time for life prep. And for the first time, Trent Romy checks in as well. Monarchs bring Hayden Brown and Garrett Pfeiffer back in as well. Lucas Lang runs the points. And he'll go left side for Romy. Romy to Pfeiffer and out of Kreitzer. 45 seconds to go first quarter. A little bit different lineup for the Monarchs. Haven't seen this one all year long. Aiden Brown has it. Looking for Romy. He was open. Couldn't find him. Out of Pfeiffer. Right side. They'll post up Romy. who got fouled, but no call on as Jew hacked him. And then poking it away and stealing it is Russell. As Russell will bring it into the front court following the fifth Monarch first quarter turnover. They're down four at 15 to 11. With 15 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Open on the right side is McDonald, and he knocks it down. Camden McDonald now with seven, and then we're going to get a blocking foul on the backcourt called a four. McPhee, McPhee can come away with the steal. Should be one and one, should it? That's the seventh team foul. So we're going to get free throws for Lucas Lang. A 7.9 seconds to play in this first quarter. 18-11 in favor of life prep. Travis Smith and Cody Brown both check in for life prep. They'll check out McDonald, who just knocked down that three, and Russell, who's dealing with those three fouls, or those uh, two first quarter fouls. Uh, Lang to shoot the front end of a one on one, and it's off the mark. Trent Romy, though, down with the rebound, and he's tied up by Jew, and the arrow will give it to Life Prep. And she called a jump ball underneath. 
There's a lot of miscommunication. I, I think everybody just kind of stood around. Not exactly sure what the call was as Kreitzer poked it away from McPhee underneath. Alan Ju, the 6'5 senior, is ready to key it in, and he nearly threw it away as they get it into McPhee. McPhee with three, races into the front court now with one. He'll get the shot off, falling away, and a missed everything. As they lead by seven, 18 to 11, as we head to the second quarter over TMP on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts, and I have no idea what I got on them. Mm. It's just peanut butter. We can get that out. Master Cleaners and Hayes offers a variety of services, including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. TV. 18 to 11 rather in favor of uh, the fire from Life Prep as we head to the second quarter. Monarchs out there with Lang, Kreitzer, Jacobs, Schulte, and uh, Robbins, the five on the floor. As Jacobs has it left side, now to Mason Robbins. Robbins uh, finds a cut or Kreitzer who finds a cut in Carson Jacobs. Drew the double team. He'll kick it out. Straight on three for Schulte. It's good. Jackson Schulte with his second three of the game. He has six first half points, and it's 18-14 in favor of Life Prep. Yeah, Marks needed that bucket in big way. Rashad Martin with it. He'll give it up to Amaji McGee. Guarded by Kreitzer. Drives in, leaves the bounce pass to Kreitzer, who will steal it. Brady racing to the other end. Goes up, gets bumped, scores, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. Kreitzer stole it on the other end, race to the bucket and lays it up, and we'll get the foul. It'll be on Travis Smith and a chance for a three. It's 18-16 in favor of Life Prep. Well, you had to know Brady was going all the way. I mean, I, the kid only has one gear, full speed all the time, and a strong finish at the rim. Wholesale changes for Life Prep as the Monarchs have made back-to-back -back field goals. A three and a run-out layup to cut the deficit to two. And so Coach... Uh, Coach Eric Jackson wastes no time. He brings all of his starters back into the game as Kreitzer misses the free throw. Robbins tried to save it, and Lucas Lang on the deflection will track it down. Here's a straight-on three that rattles home for Schulte, and the Monarchs are on top of the, the offensive rebound at 19-18, and then we get a near turnover into the front court. Kreitzer again all over the place on the defensive end, knocks one away. Schulte now with nine on three, first half threes. And then Kreitzer called for a reach in. Here on the near side, Brady with pretty good pressure, but Russell was able to hold him off and force the first Kreitzer foul. Yeah, you talked about how strong Russell is. He put a little forearm out there into Kreitzer's chest. He is an absolute load at five foot eight. That's a good matchup between Kreitzer and Russell. As Russell will go get it. Now take a peek at the sideline as the assistant coach calls out the play here with 6.50 to go and on offensive foul, or no, a five second call rather. As good job by Kreitzer just to keep that closely guarded and Russell didn't realize it. And so the closely guarded is a turnover and the Monarchs get it back. Rachel will key it in. Monarchs with the one-point lead, 19-18, thanks to that three by Schulte. Lang, a bounce pass to the high post for Carson Jacobs. Finds Schulte, another three. Good! He buried another one. 
Schulte makes it 22 to 18 as he's got back-to-back -back threes. He has 12 first half points on four threes. Russell on the other end, all sorts of contact and they call a blocking foul. And as the ball goes into the hoop, he waited for the ball to go in before he called the foul. It's 22 to 20 and a chance for a three-point play after the blocking foul on Carson Jacobs. And that was a tough one. I mean, he looked like he was there and just waiting for it. Russell gets the bucket to go and then we'll have a chance here to try and convert on the three-point play. Jacobs will check out. And then Russell to the free throw line. Monarchs with wholesale changes. Three new faces, uh, making just two new faces in as Russell converts on the three-point play, his first three points of the game, and it's 22-21. Schulte running the point now. He'll drive all the way to the bucket, and he scores. Schulte taking over this quarter, 14 for him, 24-21. On the bucket for Jackson Schulte, other end layup is good. As all the way to the bucket goes McDonald, he has nine, it's 24-23. And then Lang nearly lost it, and we're going to get an offensive foul called on the Monarchs in the other end. It's Pfeiffer who will get called for the push, it's his second. And so the Monarchs will turn it over, and now it's an offensive foul. He started to go shoot free throws, but it's an offensive foul. So despite the fact that it is the seventh on TMP, there's no free throws for life prep. Boy, Schulte has been feeling it this half. The center, six minutes to go, second quarter, 24-23. Monarchs nearly steal it, loose ball, and Schulte takes it away. He'll find Lucas Lang, left side. Lang hesitates and missed the layup. He had a good chance at it as Johnson will come down with the rebound after the steal. Now racing into the other side is McPhee, and he got to take it away. Brown with the steal. Hayden will leave it for Schulte. Right side layup is good. 26-23, Monarchs lead by three with 5-3. 32 to go here in the first half and a timeout taken by Life Brett. Already 16 first half points for Schulte. Jackson had three in the first quarter. He has 13 here in the second quarter and already after 23 yesterday well on his way to a, another new career high with 16 so far. Yeah, we talked about Sparks. They have definitely got one. Schulte's provided it, but again, it's some of the bench play and some of the defense. I mean, got them fired up and spurred. Uh, Brady Kreitzer making some plays at both ends of the floor. Really got the Monarchs going to get them out to this three-point lead. Yeah, leading 26-23. Monarchs, nice little spurt here. They trailed by seven, 18 to 11, but Schulte hit the first of three threes. He hit three of, he hit three threes in a stretch in which the Monarchs made four straight field goals to take a 22-18 lead and they have not trailed since then as Life Prep will bring it into the front court with Sims. Hands it off for Johnson who's back out there after he got banged up a little bit in that first half as here's a spinning jumper that's off the mark and rebound down to Hayden Brown. Brown finds Jacobs up the floor with some contact, can't finish, and the rebound down to Life Prep. They'll push it up the floor as they get it to McPhee. McPhee will hand it off right side to Russell, and now they'll reset their offense. And a little trouble drive, and the bucket goes as Johnson gets on the board again. Nine for Michael Johnson, and it's 26-25. Monarch's lead is back to just one. Brown finds Jacobs coming around a screen. Jacobs had it poked away into the corner for Schulte. Brown, as he'll drive in all the way to the bucket, he scores and it's fouled. A chance at a three-point play for Hayden Brown. Brown got hit hard on the way to the bucket. 28-25, and a chance here for a three-point play. And he continues to be a spark for the Monarchs coming off the bench. And I tell you what, that was a strong play at the rim because he took a lot of contact and able to get it up and in, and the and one opportunity. 28-25, 435 left here in the second quarter. 
And the free throw rattles off and a good strong rebound for Michael Johnson, who's got three first half rebounds. Racing down to the other end and Camden McDonald answers. McDonald into double figures with 11 in the contest and the lead is 28. 27 after the bucket by McDonald. Here's Jacobs working the double team and he missed the layup on the left side and then Schulte knocked the basketball out of bounds. Actually, they'll say it was last touched by Live Prep. Looked like Schulte might have got a piece of that and a break maybe for the Monarchs, but still able to key it in here in the corner. Schulte, right side here, fire up baseline three that's too strong. Jacobs with the rebound, he'll shovel it back out to Schulte, who cuts into the lane and missed the layup, and then ties up on the rebound, and the arrow belongs to Life Prep. And it's still good hustle by Schulte to tie up and force the arrow. Jacobs will check out as Trenton Romy returns to the Monarch lineup. Marks with 10 suited today. Here's a quick three for McPhee that's good. And just like that, as Amaji McKee has five, or McPhee rather has five, it's 30 to 28 after the three, or 345 to go in this first half. Left side, Mason Robbins drives in, missed the floater, rebound tipped out and pulled down by McDonald who has four rebounds. He'll race into the front court, crosses over, kicks it left side. Here's a three by Johnson that is off the mark and the rebound is cleared out of there by Romy. And Kreitzer lost it into the front court as he got double teamed and now they've got a three on one. Johnson is gonna draw the foul on Hayden Brown. Brown tried to slide in at the last minute. You know, that was probably close. I mean, he was trying to trying to get there. Made a nice effort to cut him off. Only just a little bit late, I think. As Johnson goes to the free throw line, Coach Mayer was talking to the official, and now he's going to get a timeout. Trying to talk a little bit about the contact that happened on this end with Kreitzer to force the turnover. A 3.18 to go. Here in this first half, been a good one so far, 30 to 28 in favor of Life Prep. And they're gonna have a couple of free throws coming up when we return to play. Our game brought to you apart by Next Tech, Midwest Synergy, Heartland Building Center, Gibbs Auto Supply, Steel Fabrications, Discount Siding, Edward Jones, and Lifetime Dental Care. Monarch Sports Network is also serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. Pairing your car since 1978 across from Auto World on East 8th Street. 30 to 28, Life Prep with the lead. Monarchs trail by seven at the end of one at 18 to 11. We're able to take a four point lead at 22 to 18. And then the life prep got it to one on a couple of different occasions. A Hayden Brown field goal made it 28 25 before back to back buckets for life prep. Have them on top again by two. And free throws coming up for Michael Johnson. And the free throw is good for Johnson, who has 10. He had 14 yesterday. And it's 31 at 28. Second Johnson free throw is good as well. So Johnson now with 11 in the game. It's 32-28. Monarchs break the press. Left side, Kreitzer nearly had it taken away. Ball out of bounds. Last touch they say by a life prep. Nope, last touch by TMP. He pointed TMP's way, but it was last touched by Kreitzer. Monarchs with their seventh turnover into the front court. Layup no good by McDonald and Trenton Romy down with a rebound. And then Romy had it taken away by Russell. Russell finds McDonald. He scores and is fouled. They had a triple team on Trenton Romy as he came away with the basketball. Kind of got ambushed a little bit. That forced the turnover, and now he picks up the foul and will check out. The 6'2 junior in his first action of the season, and McDonald, who drew the fouls, headed to the free throw line. Had to build on a six-point lead at 34-28. 
Well, he was able to get the free throw to go, so he did count the bucket. And now it's 35-28. Kind of been a game of runs so far. The lead is now seven at 35-28. Monarchs bring Jacobs back into the game. They lob it over the top. Carson caught it underneath the basket. Missed the up and under. And a life prep. Players got their hand in the net when the ball was on the rim. As Carson couldn't finish, Russell on the other end, runner too strong. Schulte down with a rebound, and Schulte will force it up the floor to Carson Jacobs. He was open, now whips it left side for Lang on a bounce pass to Kreitzer. Brady won't shoot it, instead finds Robbins. Mason slices down in the lane and missed it. He left the layup short, and the rebound down to McPhee. And again, Life Prep looks to run up the floor, and Kreitzer knocked it away from behind for Michael Johnson, and the sophomore lost it out of bounds, and it will stay with Life Prep. 35-28, 215 to play here in this first half. And a lob over the top is stolen by Kreitzer as he was able to tip it away. Brady will race to the other end. Bounce pass for Lang and the layup is good. First field goal for Lang following the ninth turnover and a steal by Kreitzer. It's 35-30. Monarchs back within five, right side. Camden McDonald for three is good. Wow, McDonald was 17, and it's 38-30. Life prep with the lead with a minute 50 to go. Here's a, a three left side that's good. It's Schulte again who has 19 as he buries another three, 38-33. Left side, three, four. Johnson this time's off the mark. He hands Schulte down with a rebound. Schulte being harassed in the backcourt, able to get it into the front court. Here's Jacobs, dunks it on the other end. He took it right at the defender and jammed it home and then yells at the student section on the far sideline as they come to life. It's 38-35 following the Carson Jacobs jam. <laughs> he wasn't going to stop him that time. And Johnson with nearly an illegal screen got wide open. Left side three, no good. Rebound down to Life Prep as they get it to Sims. Driving it is McDonald and an offensive foul. Jacobs was able to stand in and the uh, Life Prep Academy faithful not too happy with it, but it looked like he lowered his shoulder to get space. 38-35, 101 to go here in this first half. The Monarchs get the basketball back, trailing by three. You know, they came off a real long cold spurt and then again got a little spark. A big dunk to really get him going. Lang will bring it into the front court. Monarchs went back to the bench. Here's Pfeiffer with it. His gear is back in. And also Trent Romy. He's got it at the elbow. Missed the jumper. Stick back, though, is good. It's, it's tipped back in by Schulte. He has 21. 38-37. As Schulte able to get the layup to go on the other end. Knifing to the bucket and laying it up is Michael Johnson. 13 for Johnson. Aiden Brown. Finally, they call a foul on the backcourt. They pretty much just set up a wall of about three guys that decided they're going to jump whoever has the basketball and we get a foul as we took Hayden Brown getting knocked to the floor to draw the foul. Marks down 40 to 37 following that last bucket a moment ago by Johnson. Whatever the Monarchs have been able to get it across the timeline over the top of the defense. They've been able to score or get good looks. As Brown off the mark on that free throw. So far, two of the free throw four. line. That good look included that dunk by Jacobs a moment ago. He's going to check out. And Travis Johnson back in, or Travis Smith, rather, back in for live prep. As the free throw is good for Hayden Brown. So he goes one of two. He has three. And it's 40 to 38. Monarchs back within two with 23 seconds to go here in this first half of actions. Russell will pull it out and set up the offense. Hand it off to Camden McDonald. He's had a big first half. McDonald hands it for Russell who traveled with it. Get that extra little rocker step. He turns it over and it's the 11th fire turnover with 9.3 seconds to go in the first half. 
crowd will key it in right in front of the Sai girls team who's here waiting for their chance to shoot at halftime. Lang into the front court, finds Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer draws a double team for Schulte who fires to beat the buzzer and it's short. Pretty good look at it straight on, but could get it to go. 40-38 in favor of Life Prep and a good back and forth battle in the first half as Life Prep has the lead. Schulte with a game high 21. Carson Jacobs with 11, 17 for McDonald. Michael Johnson adds 13 in that first half. It's 40 to 38 in favor of Life Prep as we head to the halftime break on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI financial services, and AgPro crop insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Rind Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Rind today. Next Tech Wireless. They are the avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. They are committed to serving the communities they're in. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also support local school athletes in all they do. Paul Wartenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wartenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP Marion, McDonald's of Hayes, Russell, and Waukini. A great place to go for you or the team on your way home from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. Hey Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation. They are the local supporter of community events. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 33 years, so you know they have to be doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. Phase two, always supporting local athletics. If you need quick printing of logos or designs on shirts, Phase two can handle any of your requests. They have you covered at Phase two. Leon's Welding, welding, fabrication, sandblasting, powder coating, even a fleet of mobile welding trucks. Supporting local school activities for over 30 years. Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Eagle Broadband. Eagle Broadband is your trusted internet, TV, and phone provider. They offer many scalable, forward-thinking solutions such as commercial services, managed IT, and marketing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Eagle Broadband. With Hosted Voice from Eagle Broadband, you're in control of the futures for your business phone line. We provide the ring you love to hear. Eagle Broadband, our community connected. Glad to see you're back. These are my favorite shorts and I have no idea what I got on them. It's just peanut butter. We can get that out. Master Cleaners and Hayes offers a variety of services, including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. There are a lot of qualities that make up a Forged and Fire champion, but more than anything, it probably takes... We're back. Yes! Woo! To the Forge. 
Forge. Come on the show, they said. Forge. Press. Fifth. Finish. Ah! Forged in Fire is back with all new episodes. Wednesdays at 9 on History. This is Gerard Walbrock inviting you to join me for Tiger Talk. The program airs Monday evenings at 6 on Tiger Radio Mix 103. And you can also catch it on Eagle Cable Channel 14 and 614. Tuesday mornings at 10 and Tuesday evenings at 7. And of course, always online at HayesPokes.com. We record the program at Horizon Appliance and Mattress at 1501 East 27th and Hayes. So join us for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Sports Network. I hope that you've signed on for some action because you're going to get it. Conservation is a global support to the heroes on the front line. You can love the outdoors and live a healthy lifestyle. And that's the message I try to get out there all the time. Diane ain't much of a living boy. Outdoor Channel. We're wild about adventure. Have you considered the value that quality video content can bring to your business? MidAmerica Productions can provide professional visual media to effectively engage your target audience. We're a full service video production company serving Salina and surrounding regions for over 35 years. Whether you need videos for promotion, sales, training, fundraising, or other purposes, our experienced team can deliver for you. Find us online at mapvideo.net. That's mapvideo.net. High School Sports on Eagle TV brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes, Corey, Pam, and the entire staff support the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI Financial Services, and AgPro Crop Insurance.
East High School drop the second. Hey, Barber, back with you. Still a minute or so away from the second half of the action here. And Dave, a back and forth game. You talked about in the, in the first half, just a game of runs in which each team was able to kind of find a way to take a big run, and then the other team would answer right back. Yeah, just <laughs> just seemed like that's the way it was going to go that whole first half. See how they came out and make the adjustments at halftime. Uh, uh, Monarchs, uh, uh, Schulte and Carson, they they were pretty much the most of their offense. And then uh, you look at the other side, there was a couple for them as, as uh, far as uh, Johnson and McDonald. So you got to find a way to slow those two down for, for – uh, Life prep for the Monarchs in this second half. Six first half threes for Jackson. Schulte finished with 21 in that first half. He had 23 yesterday, which was a new career high. So a good start for him. Carson Jacobs got out to a nice start. Had 11 in that first half, but they really were able to find a way to shut him down and need to get him going again. Yeah, they, they really do. They started going to him early, and then Schulte kind of got things going from the outside. And, and they got some nice play from penetration and stuff, but uh, yeah, they need to get Carson re-involved in this second half. He also sat down, he got that foul early, and he kind of, I think he kind of protected him a little bit, but uh, they're going to need his presence for sure the second half. Monarchs will have the basketball to start out to this second half with the starting five of Kreitzer, Lang, Schulte, Jacobs, and Robbins. Starting five out there for the fire as well. As the Monarchs will shoot down to our left in those road blue uniforms here to start out this second half. Trying to post up Jacobs and the ball knocked out of bounds. They brought two players again and Kreitzer's pass was knocked away underneath. Jacobs was double teamed by Johnson and McDonald. Forced the turnover now here, a near turnover. Now a pass inside. Jacobs forces up the shot and scores, and we're tied at 40 on the bucket by Carson Jacobs. Yeah, just just waited for him to break open on the inbound on the baseline. Just another good, strong move for Carson. He has 13 in the game, 735 to go here in this third quarter. Nearly a turnover. It's good defense by Lang. Almost poked it away a couple of different times from McPhee. He gave it up and then got it right back. Amashi McPhee really traveled with it. As he'll give it off to Russell, who drives in and throw it away. Right through the hands of Johnson on the I think, 12th. I think Carson got a little piece of it and deflected it too, but it went off of Johnson's hand. It's the 12th turnover of the game for Life Prep with 7.15 and counting here in this third quarter. Jacobs posting up, force it inside to him, goes up, but he lays it up. Good job as he got past Johnson back-to-back. Jacobs field goals to make it 42-40. Monarchs have retaken the lead. I think you called it, Jonathan. <laughs> Get him involved. 15 for Jacobs. He had 11 in that first half. And here's a pass deflected, and it's a loose ball. It's tracked back down by McDonald. Saves it going into the scores table. Able to find McPhee, who has it blocked on the layup by Jacobs. Carson took it away, and here comes the Monarchs. After the first Jacobs block of the game, Schulte open in and out on the three. No good. Jacobs had the rebound. Poked away from him, but right into the hands of Brady Kreitzer, who lays it up. Four for Brady, and it's 44-40. Monarchs with the lead. And we're going to get a foul on Kreitzer. It's a blocking foul on Kreitzer. That'll be the second foul on Kreitzer, and it's a first team foul. Russell keyed it in on that left side. He gave it up, now got it right back. Drives inside and finds McDonald, who lays it up. McDonald's been big, 19 for him. He had nine yesterday, and now the Monarchs turn it over again. It's 44-42. McDonald into the front court. Can't get that layup to go as Mason Robbins came down with a rebound. And then they say he stepped out of bounds. It was a tough break for Robbins. After he came down with a rebound, just used all of that 6-3 stride to find a way to step on the left, the red paint down there underneath the basket. So Monarchs turn it over. 
That's their 10th turnover of the game. Russell working on Kreitzer. Step back three, fires up the shot and knocked it down. The white Russell knocked down the three. He has six. 45-44. Monarchs trying to run it out, and they get a foul as Jackson Schulte got open underneath the basket and drew the foul on Matthew Sims. Boy, another nice long pass to Schulte down there and a nice catch underneath as he was getting shoved. Fire on top by one. Schulte missed a little floater. Lang down with a rebound and forces up the shot and scores. And the Monarchs are back on top of the first or offensive rebound for Lucas Lang. And then the put back makes it 46-45. A couple of second chance opportunities for the Monarchs paying off. 40 and counting here in this third. Johnson's open. Too strong on the three. Jacobs down with a rebound. And Carson will lead the break. Plays the right side for Lang. Bounce pass Kreitzer. Backside bounce pass to Jackson. Schulte for three and he buried it. His seventh three of the ball game. Schulte has 24. And now we're going to get a timeout. 49-45. On the Schulte three with 5.18 to play here in this third quarter. Now I know the rotation's been a lot of different players on, but this, this rotation right here has been the most potent, it seems like. After a career high 23 yesterday, Schulte has 24 today. He has seven made threes already in the game as the Monarchs lead by four at 49-45. Now they are six of nine from three. Schulte. That's what I had him for. Does he have seven? Did I miss one? With that three, so he's got 24. Oh, you're right, it's six. That was the sixth one. I, I, I've been known to miss one. <laughs> Made a 49-45. So six now in the game for him threes and it's 49-45 as Russell took a couple extra steps with the basketball and bounce pass off to McPhee. Gave it up now got it right back as he works on Lang drives in and an offensive foul. He was falling down and ran into Lang. It'll be turnover number 13 and foul number three on Russell. He played a long time. Well that'll be the fourth as they say he played with a, a long time with two and then got the third and now the fourth. Yeah, that was a great foul. job of Lang just moving his feet on defense. Lang will set up the offense for the Monarchs. You're Piper who's back in along with Schulte who dumps it inside for Brown. Gets it back out to Lang. Drives in nice to the bucket. Missed it. There's uh, Hayden Brown down with a rebound. Can't finish and then it's fouled on the rebound as he hit the deck hard. He's battling in the inside with a couple of Offensive opportunities. And it's a foul. It's going to be the. They call it the fifth foul on Russell. And so he's going to foul out of the ball game. Wow. That's big. Well, the coaching staff didn't know how many fouls he had. They said he had two at half. And he did, but. He's the one who has all three fouls here in the second half. Marks will key it into Schulte, who hands it off to Lang, and now Jacobs. Carson will tee up a three, missed it short, but got his own rebound and then lost it out of bounds as he tried to hit the deck and save it. And we'll go back over to Life Prep. 49-45. Monarchs have a four-point lead as Carson will check out. Mason Robbins is back in. That was a good effort to follow a shot, just couldn't come up with it. McPhee running the point, working against Hayden Brown, who pressures him all the way into the front court. Nearly a five-second call. Now he picked up his dribble and pass deflected out of bounds off of Schulte, they say, as Cody Brown checked in. Cody Brown is new into the ball game, as is Rashad Martin, the 5'9 five nine, five nine senior. Cannon McDonald returned as well. So close in on four minutes to go here for the fire. Here's a quick trigger three right side. No good. Rebound cleared out of there by Schulte. Schulte with his second rebound. He's going to race into the front court, finds Kreitzer with it. Now to Hayden Brown. Brown with the ball fake. 
Now they'll set up the offense. 345 to go here in the third. Brights are with it right side. And underneath the basket, wide open as Lang forces up the shot, scores. Six for Lucas Lang, 51-45. Monarchs build on that lead. They're gonna have to play here in the third. Monarchs lead is six. Should be their largest lead of the contest. McDonald has it left side, working against Lang. Got up into the air, kicks it right side, and now Martin will fire up a deep three. Well, way too high off the top of the glass, and a rebound down to Schulte. He'll run into the front court and hit the jumper. 26 for Schulte, 53-45. Monarchs with the lead. He pulled down the rebound and just rushed to the other end, and now we get a travel call. Working against McDonald. Could have been a travel or a tie-up. Yeah. Either way, it's would have been a chance on a good defensive play by the Monarchs. So the turnover is the 14th on life prep. As Kreitzer into the front court, they brought Paris Schulte will jack up another three and he knocked it down. He teed up another one, 29. Now he has seven in the game. Yeah. And it's 56-45. Monarchs with the lead. He is smoking hot today. Let's see as we get a foul on the other side. Now with 29 points in the game. I started to say a moment ago they brought Gavin Unrein, the sophomore, back into the game. As life preps, McPhee threw it off the back of Hayden Brown and then gets it on that sideline. And now driving as Johnson got up into the air with some contact, missed it, got his own rebound, and then has it blocked by Mason Robbins. Kreitzer will come out of the crowd with it, race to the other end, can't finish, and then Robbins collides with a... Uh, fellow teammate and they're going to call life prep for the foul. This is a huge break for TMP. They called Martin for the foul. And Mason Robbins was the one who knocked Gavin got, Unrein to the deck. Got a little bit of a break there. Uh, Schulte will key it in. There were three different players right there as Kreitzer drives in and hits the layup. Kreitzer just slid right by the defender and laid it up. Just kind of lulled him to sleep and went right by him. Six for Brady. It's 58-45. And another turnover as Cannon McDonald loses it out of bounds. 15 for McDonald. And we're going to get a timeout. Or rather, 15 turnovers for the Fires. We're going to get a timeout taken by Life Preppus. Coach Eric Jackson talking with the official, and he he saw what we, we saw on that rebound. Monarchs get a break. They're up 58-45 here in this third quarter. Jackson Schulte with a new career high 29 has really came to life here in this one offensively. Yeah, he has he has been more than the spark. Kind of one of one of those quiet leader types as I was talking about in the first half, and he's he's put it all out there on the floor today. Monarch Athletics brought to you in part by Adams Brown Bear and a Ball. Dave's Auto Repair, Classic Quality Body Shop, and uh, Roof Masters. Also, Commerce Bank, Master Cleaners, Paul Wernberger Construction, Thirsties, Leon's Welding, Seal Fabrication, and Phase 2. 58-45. Monarchs with the lead. Life Prep tried to get a sub in late, but they were a little bit too late. Well, and actually, having, they will let him come in. Having Monarchs outscoring him 20 to 5 in this period. Now 58 45 out of the timeout. Monarchs with Brown into the front court. Hayden plays it left side for Unrine. And a pass intended for Carson Jacobs knocked out of bounds. And it will stay with TMP. 
They brought Alan Ju, the 6'5 senior, in, did life prep to deal with the size of Jacobs. Carson got open on the right block and sealed to the defender and scores over the top of him. Jacobs now with 17, and it's 60 to 45 in favor of the Monarchs. He, he is playing well inside there, strong with the basketball. Sims off to McDonald, cut off on the drive. Here's Jew. He's going to take a deep two that is off the mark. Schulte, or rather, Unrine kept it alive, but I think they're going to call Gavin Unrine for an over the back. Yep. So he'll pick up his first foul, the 5'11 sophomore, playing in his first action of the season. Monarchs mentioned just shoot it, shooting 10 for today, and we're going to get an offensive foul on a screen by Jew before a three-point attempt by Michael Johnson. And so he stuck out his leg trying to set the screen. For the first foul on Alan Chu, and it's the 16th turnover. Monarchs lead is 15 at 60 to 45 with a minute 14 to play in the third. Trent Romy checks in for the Monarchs once again. Out there with Kreitzer, Schulte, Onorine, and Jacobs. Carson Jacobs trying to post up, and now they call a foul on Jacobs. Jew was, was fronting him, and Jacobs called for the arm bar, basically. Jacobs wanted the explanation after picking up his third. Under a minute to go here, third quarter, 60 to 45. TMP with the lead, line prep with the basketball. Off to the right side, McPhee a three, missed it. And Unrine down with a rebound. First Gavin Unrine rebound, and he'll look to push up the floor. They got a poke away from behind. McDonald with a steal, he'll go in and lay it up. With 40 seconds to go here in this third quarter. It's 60 to 47 after McDonald lays it up. He has 21 in the game. Monarchs break the press, Unrine lobs, Jacobs lays it up. A little layup for Jacobs, 62 to 47. Jacobs with 19 now. On the other end, Johnson got open and scores it. Had it rattle home as he got free. 15 for Michael Johnson, 62 to 49. TMP with the lead. Kreitzer finds a wide open Trenton Romy underneath and he'll lay it up. Romy's first field goal, 64-49. But now we get a Foul in the backcourt on Lang. Well, a blocking foul on Lucas Lang, the junior. 1.7 seconds to go in the third. And a baseball shot at the end of the third quarter. Hits the back wall here at Hayes High School. 64 to 49. Monarchs with the lead. We head to the fourth quarter on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. That you've signed on for some action because you're going to get it. Conservation is a global support to the heroes on the front line. You can love the outdoors and live a healthy lifestyle. And that's the message I try to get out there all the time. Diane ain't much of a living boy. Outdoor Channel. We're wild about adventure. This is Gerard Walbrock inviting you to join me for Tiger Talk. The program airs Monday evenings at 6 on Tiger Radio Mix 103. But you can also catch it on Eagle Cable Channel 14 and 614, Tuesday mornings at 10 and Tuesday evenings at 7. And, of course, always online at HayesPokes.com. We record the program at Horizon Appliance and Mattress at 1501 East 27th and Hayes. So join us for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Sports Network. This is Eagle TV. 64-49 in favor of the uh, TMP Marion Monarchs. Trailed in that first quarter by as many as seven. Trailed at halftime by two at 40-38. to 38. Uh, really took advantage of a nice third quarter to build a 64-49 to 49 lead. 
Shooting down to our right is the fire from Life Prep, and they have the basketball to start out this fourth quarter. As Michael Johnson has it right side, he'll hand it off to McDonald. Now back to Johnson, baseline three that is short, and Jacobs had the rebound knocked away by Kreitzer. Brady able to save it, lost it, and then got it right back, and then slips on a wet spot on the floor, and now a ball knocked out of bounds, last touched by the fire. I don't think they're going to say. Oh, yeah, they're going to say that. Robbins stepped out of yeah, bounds before he threw it off of him. So Robbins out of bounds. It'll be the 12th Monarch turnover. Life prep with 17. Seven and a half to go in this one. 64 49 in favor of a TMP. Here's a little floater in and out. No good for Johnson. Reitzer will come out of the crowd with it. Races down. Bounce pass for Lang, and it's good. A layup for Lucas Lang gives him eight. It's 66 49 on a good pass from Brady Kreitzer following the turnover. Left side, Johnson will fire up a three that's off the left side. Schulte with a good check down and he'll pull down the defensive rebound. Up the floor, they find Robbins, lobs it up for Jacobs as Kreitzer tried to leave it for Carson Jacobs and then the Carson misses a couple of easy shots inside. That allows a run out on the other end and we're gonna get a blocking foul on a layup attempt from Life Prep. So position a little bit sloppy for the Monarchs as they try and get a lob for Jacobs on the run out and then it results in a foul on Schulte on the other end. Well, uh, Johnson was so hot early in the ball game you know and he kind of went down with that injury for a while and since then he's really cooled off. First free throw will rattle home for Michael Johnson. He still has 16 in the game. They have nine of nine from the free throw line. That's one thing they're doing really well. He's going to shoot one more free throw and rattle it off. Carson Jacobs down with his fifth rebound. 40 to go, 66 to 50. Monarchs with the lead. Jacobs is going to get fouled on the drive before the pass. <laughs> Called it on Alan Chu. It's his second. And now Johnson is going to check out. They bring Rashad Martin back in. Here's a lob up for Jacobs. Jacobs got banged into. We'll kick it out. And Hayden Brown traveled with it before he took off for the layup attempt. 13 TMP turnovers. 6 25 and counting, fourth quarter. McDonald, who's had a big game, 21 for him, has it left side, trying to keep it away. So he's trying to hand it off. Instead, he's going to drive on Schulte, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, he used that off arm to put it right in the chest of Jackson Schulte. It's the 19th turnover. McDonald commits his third foul. I've prep coach Jackson. So I'm exactly pleased with the officials the second half. And a pass to the feet of the Monarchs, Garrett Pfeiffer, and the coaching staff on the near side gets a timeout. So a break for the Monarchs as Pfeiffer hit the deck and really traveled with it after almost losing it, but Coach Mayer gets a timeout. Take the breaks when you get them. <laughs> yeah, 30-second timeout, and they have called it a little bit different tonight uh, than maybe last night, and I prep hasn't uh, taken well to that different change. Monarch lead by 16 at 66-50. The game brought to you apart by Patty Bacon, Ryan, Next Tech Wireless, McDonald's, James Motor Company, Hayes Chevrolet, Classic Quality Body Shop, Insurance Planning, and TMP Marion alumni. 66-50. Monarch's lead is 16. Trailed by as many as seven in that first quarter at 18 to 11. The difference though that second quarter had a run in the second quarter that ended up being a 16-0 run to go from down one at 45-44 to up 60 to 45. 
Out of the uh, timeout, Hayden Brown has it left side against a zone look now from Life Prep. Here's a kick out three, the toes for Jackson Schulte. Schulte knocks down another three. He has 32 in the game, 69 to 50, following the Schulte three. Sims drives in, hangs and hits it a little floater. Matthew Sims makes it 69-52. Four in the game now for Sims. Hayden Brown got fouled on the drive and we heard it up here. All sorts of contacts and we'll have a one and one coming up. As that's the third foul on Amaji McGee. Mason Robbins, Brady Kreitzer check in. Schulte has eight threes in the game. 69-52. Monarchs with the lead. His first free throw short by Hayden Brown, but he got on the deck and nearly saved it. And in fact, he does. His life prep had a dive to get it, and Johnson's on the in line there in front of the TMP student section. Monarchs will get it back, and all because of the hustle on the free throw. Reitzer will throw it into Schulte. He's open at three again. This one is short. Mason Robbins saves it and finds Schulte. Jackson will knife in and lay it up. Schulte with 34, 71, 52. We close on five minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Left side, here's a three that's short. Tipped into the hands of Mason Robbins. Robinson had it knocked away, but Carson Jacobs gets it back. Schulte up the floor to Brown. Brown faked on the drop step, finds Schulte. Jackson with a uh, drop step, finds Kreitzer. Brady will rifle it inside to Jacobs, and he'll force up the shot and score. Carson Jacobs with 21. That's a new career high for him, 73-52. With the 439 to play here in the fourth quarter, Monarchs lead is 21 at 73 to 52. And ever since that halftime break in which the Monarchs were down two, they have turned it on offensively, thanks in large part to the effort from Jackson Schulte. Carson Jacobs with a big second half as well, but 34 in the game for Schulte. Yeah, it has been quite an exhibition by Schulte and Jacobs inside, pretty much doing what they want. But I uh, think if you're a Monarch fan or a coach, you might want to bottle this second half up and save it for some of the games this season. 73-52 out of the timeout as the student section. <laughs> Uh, everybody uh, standing over there on the far sideline and Ian Chu who took off his warm up in the uh, student section earlier chanting we want Ian and as soon as that shooting shirt came off they all went into a huge cheer and now he's going to hear it again <laughs> with four and a half to go here in the fourth quarter Monarchs leading by 21 here's a quick trigger three left side for Amaji McGee McGee has eight 73 55 and Monarchs with pressure in the backcourt from life preps nearly turn it over and now they've got numbers as Kreitzer got away and he'll find Mason Robbins who lays it up Mason Robbins with his first field goal, and it's 75-55. And the reason that the TMP student section uh, came to life again a moment ago is because there's a group that's at the scores table ready to check in, including Ian over there right in front of the scores table. Here's a drive and a layup for Matthew Sims. He has six, 75-57. Monarchs break the press, and we get a collision in midcourt, and while Sims didn't mean to foul Hayden Brown, he did. <laughs> and so we'll have free throws with 3.38 to go here. As that foul is the ninth on life prep. And now the new group checks in for the Monarchs. As 
Schulte with those 34 points will check out. Carson Jacobs with a new career high 21 checks out. So on Rhine, Chu will check in. Aiden Brown's going to shoot a one on one. First free throw is good. As Aiden Brown has four now in the game. And it's a 76. Well, they must have called a lane violation. We're going to get a turnover in the backcourt. They called a foul on Aiden Brown. The official called a foul on Brown. Hayden looked like he had Sims had lost it. Brown got on the deck to save it, and they called a foul on Brown. So they wiped off his free throw. And then get him for a foul here in the last couple of minutes as the free throw is good for Sims. Sims with seven now in the game. It's 75-58. And the second one too strong. And she comes down with the rebound. With pressure in the backcourt, gets right past two defenders. Right side, Chew, he's open. He'll take the three in and out, no good. Trent Romy the rebound and then saves it to Unrine. And now it's taken away by McDonald. McDonald will race to the other end, slides by the defender, missed the layup, fight for the rebound, and it's taken away inside by Garrett Pfeiffer. Out of Unrine, finds Hayden Brown. Brown splits the defense, splits three different guys, left side, and will get a, get a foul. Three minutes to go in this one. Life prep. Because Jackson hasn't been pleased with the officials. I'm not really sure why he's upset about that one. Yeah. Pfeiffer got fouled. I don't know if uh, Chew gets a bucket here. The student section over there might blow the roof off this place. Uh, 2.59 to go as Pfeiffer will rattle at home. So that free throw makes it 76 to 58 on the first. Point of the season for Garrett Pfeiffer. And the second one is short, but Trenton Romy down with the rebound and he gets fouled. It'll be the second straight foul on Rashad Martin. And there are points where uh, as physical and everything officials better uh, make sure they Keep a lid on, on things. 77 58 after the free throw is good by Trent Romy. Romy knocks out a pair of free throws. Four in the game for Romy. And it's 78 58. Up the floor, McPhee's open. He'll take the three in and out, no good. Rebound down to uh, Gavin Unrine. Yes, Unrine's got a couple of rebounds. Brown got it, poked away by McPhee into the backcourt. And I'll leave it for Johnson right side. Draws a foul on Hayden Brown, who tried to step up and draw the offensive foul. Instead, will be called for the walking foul. Layup for Johnson gives him 18, and it's 78-60. And he's got a chance here for one more. The final from the middle school. Manhattan beat Lawrence Free State 51 to 49. As the free throws good, then a pass deflected and taken, nearly taken away. And now we get a foul on Michael Johnson as Chu nearly threw it away on the inbounds. And then with all sorts of contact, Monarchs were able to get it back. And now Brown back to the free throw line. 78-61. And Brown will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. And the free throw is short. And he had the one he made wiped off. Been a rough go with the, at the free throw line for Aiden Brown in this one. Uh, so shoot the second one, and yeah, this one's no good as well. He is just one of six at the line. 
As life prep will race down to the other end. The layup good for McDonald. Kim, Camden McDonald has 23. And it's 78-63. Chew on the other end. Turn around. Fall away jumper. No good. Rebound down to Pfeiffer. He has a block from behind by McDonald. And the race to the other end. And the layup is good for Michael Johnson. He's got 20. It's 78-65. And they're still pressing in the backcourt. Trying to cut away at this deficit. Chew into the front court. Little crossover and steps through. Misses the layup. Rebound cleared down of there by Sims. Only a 13-point game with under a minute 50 to play. And we're going to get a foul after the shot. Akeem Brown's going to be called for him. Forearm after the shot, so it'll be a one and one. That's the ninth team foul. As Lucas Lang will return to the Monarch lineup as he checks in for Chu, the junior. 78 65, minute 45 to go. And the student section back to the we want Ian Chance, free throw short, rebound down to Pfeiffer, and then reaching in and committing the foul is McDonald. The Monarchs have really owned the glass in this half, too. They have pretty well dominated both ends of the floor. Yeah, Pfeiffer will go back to the free throw line. He missed a pair of free throws earlier at 78-65. And the free throw is good by Pfeiffer. 79-65. And the second free throw good as well. 80-65. As Garrett Pfeiffer makes a pair of free throws. His first two points. And here's a drive by McDonald. He'll kick it right side. Sims doesn't shoot the three. Instead goes in, misses the layup, and the offensive rebound down to McDonald. He can't finish inside, and then a ball knocked out of bounds. They say last touch by Life Prep. One twenty-nine to go here in the fourth quarter. Monarchs lead is 15 again at 80-65. to So race here into the front court with Brown. He draws a double team, finds Lang out of the high posted Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer to Romy, now kicks it out straight, top of the key for Brown. With a minute 10 left here in this one. Monarchs offensively trying to work some clock here with Romy in the short corner and his pass knocked out of bounds. Although they say last touch by, he said, on Ryan touched that apparently? Uh, yeah, they said that. I don't think he did, but that's what they called. So Monarchs will turn it over. They say that Gavin Unrein touched that pass after it was deflected by a fire player. And now McDonald misses the layup. Rebound down to uh, Brown. Uh, Satan will race into the front court. Hayden Brown has five rebounds in the contest. Romy in the short corner, top of the key, Unrein. Left side for Lucas Lang. 35 seconds to go here in the ball game. Monarchs lead is 15 at 80 to 65. Brown thought about a shot and now Monarchs will continue to run some clock with on right top of the key. A left side for Lang. And now back to on right with 18 seconds to go. So Monarchs are going to pick up their first victory here. With 10 seconds to go in the contest at 80 to 65. As the Monarchs with now 3.2 seconds to go. We get a held ball after a turnover by the Monarchs. And so Live Prep will get it back. Nope, they'll say arrow belongs to the Monarchs. So TMP will key it in. Here the student section to Romy. And that will do it. As the Monarchs are able to rally from a seven point first quarter deficit and go on to win by 15 at 80 to 65 over at Life Prep. Big game for Carson Jacobs and Jackson Schulte again. Schulte with a new career high 34. Jacobs finishes with 21 and five. 
As they face the Monarchs here on this one. They win 80 to 65 over Life Prep and will advance to take on either Great Bend or Millwood, Oklahoma in that fourth place game. Again, the final 80 to 65. TMP with a victory over Life Prep on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. 